what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video i'm brave x hero and i'm your demolition expert when it comes to the crucible and the mountaintop grenade launcher who better than myself to show you the best ways to counter and avoid the mountaintop i've made plenty of videos in the past using the mountaintop and putting together builds so my experience with the mountaintop is up there i do want to proceed with caution there is no way you can avoid the mountaintop 100 you will die from it but this survival guide, it'll help you boost your survivability to the mountaintop. It'll prevent you from having unnecessary deaths to the mountaintop. But with that, guys, enough messing around. Let's get into today's video. Let's get the ball rolling with the first tip of the day, which is identifying the mountaintop user. Now, you can do this in a few ways. If you're playing survival comp, a pre-game inspection can help you figure out who has the mountaintop and who doesn't. If you're playing trials, if they have that loadout on, equipped beforehand, the pre-match load screen will display this. Remember that anyone can swap to the mountaintop at any time. So those were just a few pre-game indicators. Now, one way to figure out who has a mountaintop is pretty much by simply dying by them. If you die from a mountaintop user, take that time in between spawns to inspect that player and identify what class they are using, along with also looking at the color of their armor in case you need to differentiate them from other titans warlocks or hunters the main reason you want to look at their armor and the color of it is because if you go against multiple titans in trials or in survival you don't want to be like oh that's the titan with the mountaintop and it's not so again keep an eye of what color armor they have i know it sounds dumb but at the end of the day it will keep you alive now another major key point here is that mountaintop users will always favor shooting from the air they will always want to attack you from the air and the reason behind that is splash damage unlike firing from the ground there is potential to completely miss your target but when you're firing from the air mountaintop users will either one hit kill you or cause significant damage where you can easily be cleaned up by another weapon they will clean you up with the gnawing hunger if they can cause splash damage to you which another reason why mountaintop users go to the air so often is if they cause splash damage, weapons like the Nine Hunger become very, very lethal, especially weapons with the, like Nine Hunger with Kill Clip. Getting an easy kill like that, cleaning someone up with Nine Hunger can get the job done. Now, going down my checklist, we've identified the class and we identified how mountaintop users will attack, but you need to understand their movement. If they are a Titan or a Warlock, they tend to glide or burst, giving you a bit more time to counter move against them. But on the other hand, if they are a hunter, they have the ability to jump at any moment. So counter movement is much more difficult against hunters. Now that we have movement out of the way, one major indicator of a mountaintop user is if you see a red light on the weapon. When the weapon is out, you will see a red light. If you see that character in the air and a red light, there is a high probability that they are preparing to fire their mountaintop shot at you. So remember, mountaintop users like to go to the air. I have to look for that red light if they are titan or warlock they are probably gliding or bursting up in the air a hunter they're probably going to just leapfrog up there but for the most part guys if you see a guardian in the air with the red light that's probably a mountaintop user now what we just covered is the basics that all right there was the basics of a mountaintop user let's get into the nitty gritty stuff all right but before we do, if you are enjoying this video, you might want to consider checking out my other videos on the channel. And if you enjoy those, then you might want to click that subscribe button because it is a free way to support me and the channel. Now, when it comes to playing against mountaintop users, you always want to be airborne. You want to be in the air as much as possible. And the reason behind that is you are a much harder target to hit in the air. When you are on the ground, there is a chance of you taking splash damage when the mountaintop user fires their grenade launcher shot at you. So if you are going against a mountaintop user, if you see them, you being in the air is going to boost your survivability rather than staying on the ground. Because if you have your feet planted, they're going to just shoot at the ground at you and probably kill you or clean you up with a gnawing hunger. Getting into the next tip, guys, and this is probably going to be one of the most important tips of the entire video timing their shot you need to time the shot of a mountaintop user and the reason behind that is number one you want to be able to save your dodge for that very moment when you say the word dodge i don't mean a hunter dodge i mean your jump one thing that's really helped me out a lot is when a mountaintop user goes through the air and right before they fire you jump or you glide or you burst whatever it may be if you're a warlock 
dodge in the air if you're a hunter shade step or jump if you're a titan just glide up in the air by doing so you are going to have them miss which is going to boost your survivability and once you time their shot keep in mind that once they fire that is it they have to either reload or swap to a different weapon at that very moment that is going to give you the advantage why because now you have the first shot on them and again if they are in the air they fire their shot they miss now they're reloading they have hang time against them they are floating up in the air at that very moment you need to punish them for being way up in the air and that very moment right there guys that is timing their shot learn how to time their shot properly and you will always win that fight so if you were to ask me brave what is the best way to shut down a mountaintop user keep them grounded keep them grounded and you will keep them less lethal the best way to do this is if you are a hunter you want to use your smoke bomb this will deny them the ability to use their jump mechanic allowing you to keep them grounded and less lethal now let's move into the mountaintop in a team environment this means game modes like trials of osiris and survival when it comes to those game modes keep in mind that any mountaintop user at the beginning of the round will only have two shots so if you get them to miss their shots this will really benefit you a lot they will only have their primary weapon left now if they win that round they could potentially have more ammo the next round depending on their armor perks but if they lose that round you have now kept them with only two shots on the next round so keep that in mind if you win that round you have now kept that mountaintop user to only two shots a lot of players get frustrated with the mountaintop but sometimes it's their teammates that's causing you to get tilted you're probably wondering what i mean by that simple hyper focusing hyper focusing on a mountaintop user will leave their teammates uncontested thus allowing them the ability to challenge you while you're distracted this is something that players tend to forget they get too focused on the mountaintop user and forget about other players on the map in game modes like trials and survival you need to remember that there's more than just a mountaintop user on the enemy team you don't want to be caught with your pants down you don't want to hyper focus against that mountaintop user and be easily cleaned up by a sniper in the back now one thing i do want you to focus on is positioning to your teammates i'll put it in the simplest way i can be careful on how close you are to your teammates one shot from a mountaintop can damage both of you and leave you both open for an easy cleanup i will say stand nearby but not on top of them close to them but not on them and the reason for that is if a mountaintop user only has one shot if they decide to challenge you and a teammate their chances of winning are very low and that's due to the team shot mechanic so you want to stay near your teammates but not on top of them now let's move into the last resort section i'm calling this section the last resort since they require drastic changes to your loadouts or even cause you to play a little bit more reckless let's get into last resort number one if you play against a full team of mountaintop users in survival or trials my biggest recommendation is to starve them of ammo remove all your special weapons this will limit the amount of special ammo they will be able to acquire this is a tactic i've used in the past going against aim modders and it's worked so starve them by removing your special weapons don't let them get any more shots than they already have and lastly guys last resort number two if you see a mountaintop user if it looks like they're gonna kill you and you don't have time to win that engagement you don't have time to disengage the best thing you can do is punish them Punish them by getting close to them and having them kill themselves. I'm not a fan of the trade mechanic. I'm not a fan of the trade for a trade. But at the end of the day, it'll at least punish them. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more. Remember, it's a great way to support the channel. And if you found this to be the type of Destiny content you like to see, then do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video by clicking the thumbs up button because it lets me know to bring more content like this to the channel. And that's it for now. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.